Are you ready? <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. What is it? Okay, I don't know what's happening. I got something. I thought the folks here would really enjoy it. Okay. Is it an animal? <laughs> no, it's not an animal. <laughs> what the hell are we doing? Are you scared? Kind of. <laughs> You're a little scared? You buy like something vintage? Actually, yeah, good call. Yo, you're lying. A game? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I, oh man, I haven't played this in so long. Oh yes, let's go. I haven't seen a TV like this in. I don't know how long. Damn, I haven't played this game in years. You have played this game. Yeah, I have it at home. Oh, right. Somewhere. Sick. Sick. I, you know, I never actually played this. Where did you find this? eBay. I've seen this before, but I've never actually played it. This is awesome. Damn, we even got the old TV and your play. Damn, you went in. Who the hell brought this? That PlayStation is actually my childhood console. I've had that since 1998. Wow, the year I was born. Wow. Dude, I never played this. This is before my time. Is Josh Toy in this game? Josh Toy's in the game, right? Tell me that. Isn't he in the game? Isn't Josh? Like, no, Josh is in the iPhone game. Oddly enough, I actually, kind of taking away from this game is uh, Razer released a game, I forget what year it was in, but they released a mobile game. It was just the Razer mobile video game. I, I don't think there, there was any other name to it other than that. It had myself, John Radke, and Jesse Macaluso. So if you guys haven't heard of those guys, you guys should check them out on YouTube. I'm sure they've got videos somewhere. The story of the game is basically your friends get stolen by a giant robot and you have to save them by doing tricks. It's absolutely ridiculous. That makes sense. Hey, if you see me at the skate park and got the AirPods in, you know I'm just thinking about saving my friends from the giant robot. Oh man, these Razer graphics are sick. <laughs> oh, the foldy, the grips. Look at the wheels! I love how big the TV is too. <laughs> that is, it's reminiscent of the time. Yeah. So this is Razor Freestyle Scooter, and it was released in North America on December 11th, 2000. Right? For the original PlayStation. Okay. I was three years old when this game came out. So this uh, game is almost 20 years old. Yeah. And <laughs> in about a month, as of recording this, it will be celebrating its 20 year anniversary. Wow. Well, I wasn't even a year old. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> do you know Jamie Jacobson? I do not. Okay, well, Jamie Jacobson is credited as being on the cover of the game. Okay. It's funny, I always thought it was Jason Fry. Really? Yeah. Like, that's a name that basically nobody's gonna know on the channel, like, at all. I guarantee <laughs> it. He's one of the original Team Razor team riders. And then throughout 2001, there were versions released for the Game Boy Color, which I think you played on your channel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Game Boy! I had, like, four of those growing up. The Sega Dreamcast, the Game Boy Advance, and on November 27, 2001, it came out for the N64. What's interesting about that is it was a Blockbuster exclusive. Oh, you know, I, I remember that there were certain games that were Blockbuster exclusives because back when Blockbuster was popping, they had like, they even had some movies that were Blockbuster exclusive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. I haven't heard Blockbuster in a long time. I think I still have a membership card somewhere. <laughs> I, I, well, I worked at Blockbuster. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Was that sick? It was. You could rent a game. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Let's go rent it for like a week and try it out yeah. and not have to buy it. Now, while it was originally released in North America at the end of 2000, it did make its way to Europe. However, it was not officially licensed by Razer outside of North America. So everywhere else, it was simply released as Freestyle Scooter. Okay. Instead yeah, of they didn't have the Razor. trademark. The yeah. licensing rights, yeah. <laughs> it was developed by a company called Shaba Games, which would go on to develop games like Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Great game. And Shrek Super Slam. I'm sure you've played that. <laughs> no, but I want it. No way, like like, <laughs> a, like a brawl game for Shrek? <laughs> yeah. I remember that one. You remember that one? I remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> we should get that one in here. Yeah. Facts. And the company was acquired by Activision in 2002 only to have Activision then close the studio on October 8th, 2009, ending its 12 year run. Wow. They absorbed them. Yep. So it didn't make that many games in its 12 year time span, but it did make- It made a scooter the game. The first scooter yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. And that's really all I have on the game. There's not much information out there about it. Um, 
if anybody watching has more info on the game, hit me up. Let me know. I'm curious. Let's run. Let's run Chad. Why not? Chad, Amy. Okay, Chad and Amy. That's all we got right now. Okay. I'll go with the girl this time. Chad has a broken wrist right now, so I'm not gonna choose him. I'm gonna go with the goth girl. I'm gonna be Amy just because that's my girlfriend's name. Oh, they even got different color razors. Oh, the clear one was always my go-to. Or the red. Let's go with the clear. I'm gonna go clear. Well, when I was a kid, I had a blue one, so I'm going with the blue one. No purple scooter, so I'm gonna have to email the now defunct company and say, yo, what gives? I guess I'll go orange wheels. This is how vintage it is. It's still A model scooters, the original A model. Mm hmm. And that's it. Like, you just have colors for the A model. No B models. No, none of that. I'm gonna go with orange. Just because I have an orange beanie on today. Scooter park, not skate park, boys and girls. Scooter Park. That's right. I guess I'll go with Schools Out with a Z. That means it's ultra cool, right? <laughs> nice loading screen, by the way. All right, wait. How do you... Oh my. You don't use the analog stick. No analog, so it's not like Skate 3. No. Oh, you don't steer with the joystick? Oh, how do I turn? <laughs> Oh no. You can actually pause it and go to Ooh. the trick list and it'll show you everything that you can land. Oh, okay. And like how to do it. Oh, I see. What in God's name is a hand clap? I'm assuming <laughs> you just clap your hands. Front side tail whip, I don't, they don't understand that. Tail whip, it's, one of those is a heel whip there. I like how a downside whip is also called a 180 tail whip, which I guess is like technically true, but it's, it's not a full tail whip, so it's, it's a downside tail whip. Josh is like, I invented that, I invented that, I invented that. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna collect this giant wheel. That's how big my signature wheels are. Oh, I did a front flip. Wait, front side tabletop? <laughs> that's not how you tabletop. What if I do it to the right? Nope, that's a turn down. All right, they didn't actually email Josh and ask him, hey, how do you do a tabletop? Hand clap, okay. How much time do I have for this whole video because I'm trying to be here all, all night. <laughs> oh, feeble grunt. And a little broken window, we all good. That's hash, bro. Huh? What was that? Oh, we can do a hand plan in this? Check this out. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Oh, Amy. I didn't oh, know you could no. die in this. This is brutal. Oh. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I just died. <laughs> <laughs> so I think if you hold X longer, you'll jump higher. I think. No, it's A. I mean X. Oh yeah, that is X. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Look, there's there's no A here. <laughs> I told you how to play video game. There you go. See now you now you're getting it. Pros of button mashing. I want to know how to do a Superman if they even have that. Oh, I did the Josh toy Superman. You ready for this? Here we go, Josh toy baby. Oh, I didn't jump. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Supermans with no grabs are not this easy. That makes no sense whatsoever. Have I gotten the best score? Uh, no. <laughs> Damn. All right, Cooper, this one's for you. Oh, that one wasn't for you. Oh, that was a Feebzer, dude. Ahead of the time. Feeble, you see that? That was a Feebzer. That wasn't even a Feeble grind. This game was ahead of its time. We're about to mob this, uh, this little hover right here. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I just land. That was nuts. Back foot off. Oh! That was robbery. At least they've got a lot of different grind tricks, though, because that's mm -hmm. something that I feel like a lot of those like companies overlooked. Mm -hmm. Like it was all about the air tricks. Like, yeah. Demo tricks is what I used to call those. <laughs> I could see how people uh, get a little addicted to this one. What would you rate this game out of ten? For the time period or right now? Both. I'd say back then, probably like a solid seven or eight, just cause I could relate to it. But mm -hmm. nowadays, that's about as good as it is. I mean, it's still fun to, to an extent. So I mean, I'll say probably like a six, I don't know. A 10 simply because of how much fun it is and how simple it is. In 2000, I'd probably give it an 8.5 out of 10. All right, if this was back in the day, I feel like I'd be playing this all the time. Just doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Today, I mean, there's that little freestyle scooter app on your iPhone that's way better. So today I'm gonna give it a, a two. Good, like 10 and a half. 
ten. I just got I just gotta get used to it. To be honest, I don't know much of old games, dude. But I think this is dope. I would give it a good like, at least like bare minimum. I'm talking like eight, maybe maybe nine. Um, but I might be running that a little too high. You never know. But I think this is just really fun. For a two out of ten, you're really enjoying this game. Well, I mean, I'm on the clock scootering. <laughs> Does the grind count when I don't land it? All right, fine. I'll bump it up. I'll give it a solid eight, actually. But if I had, if this game came out now, it'd be like a one. Probably easily a good like, a good eight for the time. I mean, if it was like now and it came out like this, I'd be like, come on. <laughs> How well do you think uh, a modernized version of this would do? Um, if it was if it was free roaming, and instead of going the Tony Hawk style where everything is on this, and you went to flick then uh, it'd do pretty good. There's a lot of scooter riders. With the boom of scootering, I think it'll do pretty good, um, especially if you get the right brands behind it to help push it, like, and the, the right riders too, obviously. Uh, do it more like the Tony Hawk style where you can actually like ride as your favorite pros. Mm -hmm. um, modify the scooter like in skate like you can modify your board to run whatever you want. Like you get all those board or all those brands on board. I think that would be pretty cool. I think it would sell pretty good. If any scooter kids are watching this and have any interest in tech at all, if you create a scooter game, I guarantee you will be rich. So get on that. I think it would be dope. I think a lot of, especially like right now, a lot of scooter people are like kind of looking for one, you know? Like, I think it would be dope if you would succeed, at least in the scooter community. I play Skate 3 and Pipe 24-7. If they had a scooter game, I'm calling in sick the next day it comes out. I'm sure there's statistics on how many people bought this game. I'm sure there's statistics on how successful it was. And that could all be used in a case to get a new scooter video game built. Like, hey, it came out, a video game came out 20 years ago and this is how many sales it had. Like, it would be worth our time to do this. The how big the scooter community is now versus then. So I feel like I'm, I'm really glad that it came out but I definitely want to see a reboot in the future. Do you think that a game like this coming out when it did would have helped the industry become what it is today? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Probably expose kids to the idea of doing tricks, but as far as like the sport, even back then, like, I don't think it really exposed them to anything other than more sales for Razor personally. That's just me though. I rode for Razor for ten and a half years, so this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you think? This is tight. All right. Well, uh, thank you for playing. Thank you for allowing me to play. Yeah, you got to play fun. a video game on the clock. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> Love my job. I don't want to go back to work. I just want to play this game now, dude. Wow. Thank you for getting this all set up. All right, you guys. So that has been the vault playing Razor Freestyle Pro Scootering. Yes. <laughs> nope. Scooters. Is it Razor? Dude, Razor Freestyle Pro Scooters? Or what is it? We had a blast sitting down here and playing Razor Freestyle Scooter on the PlayStation 1. Smash the like button, subscribe to The Vault, stay tuned for some of the best scooter content, if not the best scooter content on YouTube, and I'll see you guys in another video.